2024 uh, will see us rolling out an additional 300,000 fee-free take places. This is, of course, on top of the 300,000 commencements that we had in 2023. Uh, we promised 180,000 and delivered 300,000. A great example of us providing cost of living relief through fee-free TAFE, whilst also addressing the longer term issues of labour market shortages and supply chain issues that Australia has to deal with in order to continue to put that downward pressure on inflation. Our priority will be to provide cost of living relief whilst taking pressure off inflation. And I've asked Treasury and Finance uh, to come up with uh, further propositions uh, that we'll consider in the lead up to the May budget this year following the MyEFO that we released in December. Uh, we also want to help more Australians live in their own home. Already 26,000 people have been helped in the first six months of our expanded home guarantee scheme. Uh, we'll continue to strengthen Medicare and all 58 urgent care clinics that we promised would be open by the end of the year are now up and running right around Australia. And part of the agreement with states and territories to strengthen Medicare and to strengthen primary health care was to have uh, further support there. We want a future made in Australia as well. And we are looking at further measures in what ways that the transition to a clean energy future can lead to additional jobs being created here as well, through value adding, moving up the supply chain, making sure that we do make more things here, which is about Australian jobs here. And that's what our engagement with the world is about as well. Uh, making sure that Australia's position is strengthened by our engagement in the international community, including with ASEAN, including with our Pacific neighbours, but also, of course, the enhancements that we're making to improve our trade relationships, including uh, the removal of any impediments to trade with China. Uh, we know that those impediments uh, led to uh, some $20 billion reduction in our trade. And we've seen that step up and we'll see uh, further advances in that this year, as we saw at the end of 2023, the removal of some of the impediments uh, to some of the meat supplies uh, going into China.